I'm your host, Tia Barr, and you're watching Breezeway Productions. Tonight we're here at the 68th Annual Ace Eddie Awards. Enjoy! Okay, we are joined with Tatiana Regal. Well, welcome and congratulations. This is a huge, huge year for you. You are nominated for Itonia, which is one of my favorite films in the run. I absolutely love it. Thanks. Thank you for editing such a great film. Tell me about your special moments throughout that project and how long it took you to get through that project. Yeah, it took about uh, just shy of nine months, beginning to end. Um, but the, the most special thing about it is that I've worked with the director five, six times. Actually, this is our fifth movie, but we did a pilot as well. And uh, I'm just so pleased to, to have done it with him because um, he's a dear friend and an extraordinarily talented director and he brought so much to the movie. It was wonderful. We are here with Sam Lerner from the Goldbergs. Yeah. Welcome thank and you. thank you for being here tonight. You are presenting, right? Yeah, yeah I'm presenting TV comedy category. TV comedy, which, which is, is your specialty. Yeah, I, I, like, I like to think so. Yeah. So tell me about the Goldbergs. I'm a huge fan of the show. Tell me what it's like working on the show. It's amazing. Um, you know, great actors, great writers. I, I really like great editors. everyone there. Great editors. <laughs> <laughs> Great editors. Um, yeah, I you know I, w I keep saying that, c especially with comedy, it's all about the timing, and I think the editors are very undervalued, and it's the it's really important, especially to our show. Um, but yeah, it's it's timing great. is everything, right? Timing is everything. Yeah, and it, that's why you're a comedy actor right exactly. now. Exactly. You know, your comedic timing. Timing. Yeah. <laughs> I love um, it. Yeah, it's great. I, I love working there. It's great. That's awesome. So tell me, what was the experience like editing Coco? It was it was amazing. It was inspiring. It was frustrating. It was exhausting. It was all those things over four and a half years. Uh, uh, four and a half years. Four and a half years. Uh, the director has been working on it for six years we just at Pixar we spend a long time trying to get the story right because we're trying to make movies that that are not only good but they'll last that people will be watching 20 years from now uh, so yeah four and a half years well I love coming to the Ace Eddies because you know it's my it's my peeps yeah. and uh, my hood so it's kind of been it's quite joyful to reunite with people that we're normally just working down the corridor from and um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of love for Blade Runner and I kind of keep getting interesting emails from people who've just discovered it on Blu-ray and so yeah, it keeps coming. Very and happy. what was your process with editing that film? Um, it was a long process, so I can't break it down too much, but yeah, I just, I'd done three films. That's the third film with Denny Villeneuve and uh, we'd done Sicario, Arrival. In fact, we went from Arrival on a Friday, last shot of Arrival, to Monday working in Hungary on Blade Runner. So it was continuity of three films. Because you guys cover such incredible topics all around the world, and now you're getting really into government, and uh, what's the next most exciting thing that keeps you, your drive and your passion, you know, going in this show? Well, I think um, the world has a way of uh, creating a need for uh, what we do, where uh, I think now more than ever, I think people need uh, an unbiased source of information that they can trust. Uh, so for us as editors, it's really important to not editorialize. Uh, so I think that when you look at the world, it's every headline that's out there, we just want to go beyond it. So from North Korea to Charlottesville, uh, all around the world, like especially here in our own backyard, uh, there's the world is constantly generating content for us. Uh, uh, so, you know, it's just a challenge for our field teams to be able to get out there and cover it all and for us to keep up with it as it comes in. Yeah, how do you... Oh, oh. sorry, go ahead. Please. Oh, no, well, and one of the things I think that separates the kind of work that we're doing is our stories are really character-driven. It's not about a, a reporter standing up and telling you what, you're, what you should know. It's about people explaining how they're living through the situations we're covering. And that char the, base, the fact that our pieces are based in character makes it so much more interesting for me as an editor to look at those people, figure out what they're trying to say, what their experience is, and communicate that to the audience. Because isn't that the job of the editor, to make the content relatable to the people that are the audience, right? Yep. We're, well, we're just trying to hit the ceiling for how good the content could be and maximize its impact. This is Tia Barr. Thank you so much for watching Breezeway Productions at the 68th Annual Ace Eddie Awards.